Good evening then, Yellow Army, and welcome to another interview here on official TUFC TV. Today, I'm delighted to be joined by United striker Rob Street. Rob, welcome to Playmore. Thank you very much. Now, of course, I'm speaking to Rob fresh after uh, making his debut against Sutton on Tuesday evening. Rob, what was that like? Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, obviously, it's nice to make your first appearance for the club. Um, you always want to get that um, almost not out of the way, but you just want to get that first one under your belt um, so you can kick on from there. Was the uh, adrenaline really coming, uh, flowing through you when you uh, came on at half time? <laughs> Um, I mean, it was coming on. It was quite a, a close game at the time, so I wanted to come on and make an impact. Um, obviously, I think I could have scored a goal, but I think all in all with 10 men, it was an OK point in the end. Well, the Yellow Army certainly seemed to be uh, happy with your uh, contribution that you made looking across social media anyway. And um, obviously beforehand, that, that was your senior debut. How does that compare yeah. from what you've seen so far in training and also in, in that half football that you did play? What's the standard been like of the National League compared to the under-23 football that you've been playing at Crystal Palace? Um, yeah, there's a big difference. I think the intensity and the physicality is very high. Um, I think that's set every single day in training by the, the boys and the gaffer. Um, they're constantly on at you, like everything's got to be done right, which is, I think, a credit to the, the boys in the club. Um, in terms of how it compares to 23s, I think, obviously, like I said, it's very physical size, a lot higher. Um, I think the 23s is a lot more technical. Um, there's a lot more, like the games are a bit more technical. It's a bit more, we'll stand off you, you stand off us. But I think here they kind of get at each other, which is, um, yeah, it's good. Did you feel that there was any more pressure to get a result in 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 this particular game, in, in you know, in a national league game than there was an under twenty three game? Massively, massively, yeah. Um, I think here you're fighting for points every single week. Every game matters. Um, I think with the twenty threes, although it, there is a league system, I think it's all about development. Um, some people like obviously I'm I'm I've always liked to play for points. I want to go. I want to win the leagues. I want to. I want to challenge for the top. I said, but. It, it can be different at 23. I think a lot of the time it is about like developing as a player and when you're still young. So there's pros and cons of it, but no, I'm delighted to be here playing for points and hopefully push a promotion. Well, any of the uh, supporters that have seen, uh, like some of us have at the club, have seen you celebrating your goals for the under 23s for Crystal Palace. Uh, looking forward to seeing you celebrate your first goal in United <laughs> Colours anyway. Um, how have you been? How have you been settling into life at, at Torquay? Obviously, it's a different, completely different place to where, where you're from uh, in London. Uh, how have you been gelling with the uh, management and the teammates? Yeah, no, it's um, been good. I've enjoyed it. I think all the boys are really good. Um, the manager's really supportive. He's really, um, like, kind of helped me out to understand like, how Torquay play, the style. Um, it's very different to what we play at Palace, um, intensity-wise. But, no, it's been good. I've enjoyed it. Um, I think it's a great group of lads. We've got, like, a mix of experience and youth. Um, and I think that's why they're doing so well in the league. And with this being your first loan, it must be a bit of a bonus um, going to a club with a, a manager that's as experienced as, as the gaffer is, Gary Johnson, that's achieved so much in the game. Um, yeah. That must be a real bonus as well, and fill you with a lot of confidence that he's seen something in you that he wants to develop. Yeah, no, massively. I owe him a lot for like, taking me on board here. I think it's, um, I just want to repay him um, in whatever way I can, hopefully with scoring goals, winning games. Um, but no, I was buzzing to when I got the call saying um, that Torquay are interested, wanted to take you on loan. I literally packed my bag in an hour and drove down. Like I was, I was buzzing. So, yeah. Well, that's what we like to hear, Rob. So, t tell us a bit about your time at Paris, how you've gone through the ranks, your progress there, and, and, and ultimately how this uh, move to Torquay came about and how you heard about it. Um, yeah, so I've been at Palace four years now. I've um, kind of been playing in the youth teams. I was playing for the under 23s uh, as an under 16. So, I kind of went straight in from Sunday League with my friends uh, when I was 15 to now I've just turned 19 so I've literally gone I've progressed quite well I think um, I've been lucky enough to train with the first team a few occasions so that's always a positive um, now I've worked with some real top coaches at Palace so I'm really lucky um, and I think they've all helped me out massively yeah, and Gary, I believe, uh, knows uh, Roy Hodgson from their time in, in Sweden together. Yes. Now, obviously, the Yellow Army have seen a little bit about you in that 45 minutes against Sutton. Um, can you give us a, a brief insight as to what, what we can expect to see you over the uh, as a player over the next few months and what your strengths are, what your game's all about, Rob? Um, I think I'm, I'm, very, I'm very honest with myself. I'll always give 100%. Um, 
I like to work hard, I like to score goals, uh, win football games. So, no, I kind of, yeah, I don't want to um, say too much, but I, yeah, I like to, I like to score goals. I like to get in the box, um, score the ugly goals as such. I kind of yeah, probably not want to bag a 30 yarder, but I'll, I'll score the ones inside the box. And yeah, I think a goal's a goal. I just love scoring goals. Well, they all count, Rob, that, that's all. But also the other thing that I think the Yellow Army would have seen during the coverage of the stream on, on Tuesday night is that your link-up play uh, with the likes of Ben Whitfield and the other forwards was, was really impressive as well. Is that, is that another yeah. um, weapon you've got in your armoury? Yes, I, I mean, I, I like to assist. I like to create things. Um, I can get on the half turn. Um, yeah, I've always liked to link up with wide men when they roll inside or the number 10 and, or another strike partner. I think that's um, like crucial to my game. One of the things that must have been quite nice over the last few weeks, Rob, is that there have been two or three other uh, new faces that have been coming in at, at the same time. So it's not as if you are coming into this by yourself as the only new kid on the block, if you like. Has that, has that helped things as yeah. well? Yeah, no, massively. I mean, I've moved in with um, Max Sheaf and um, obviously Joe's come in now. So, But no, it's been um, really good. Hammy as well, the goalkeeper. So they're all top boys. Like it's, um, it's been good. Like They're all... Yeah, really helpful. All the boys have helped me settle in, so it's been good. Great. And and finally, Rob, um, what are your hopes for the uh, for the uh, rest of the season during the rest of your loan spell, just on a personal basis and on a team's basis as well? What do you think we can achieve over the uh, uh, next few months together? Um, on a on a personal basis, I want to just score as many goals as I can, win football games for the team. Um, yeah, I want to learn a lot about myself as a player and as a as a person. Um, in terms of team goals, I think that's just the main one. I think promotion, I think that's got to be the main aim. I think, um, I think we are good enough to do it. I think we've got a good enough team. And um, yeah, I'm really uh, excited to push for that. Brilliant, Rob. Well, thank you for joining us. It's been great getting to know a bit more about you. And we look forward to seeing you in action again very soon. Brilliant. Thank you. And thank you for joining us, Yellow Army. And we'll be back with uh, some more interviews with some of more of the members of the United squad very, very soon.